with all the videos I shared in my YouTube channel. This one is by far the most important one. It is about how a hacker uh, hacked into my Gmail account and also YouTube account, and they broke the two-factor verification. And how I try to stop them from getting money out from my banking account and other investment accounts. I am not a security expert. Here I share what actions I took. And there are still more actions I will be taking in the next few days. And I want to share this with you. Hopefully it's a good reference for you. In the last six weeks, my friend lost $5,000. He was renewing his debit card. And before he has a chance to use it, someone has used $5,000 to buy Bitcoins. And there's another case happened to my daughter's friend and her bank account was drained. That happened before Christmas time. And last Saturday, I could have lost all my money uh, because someone broke the two-factor verification, got into my Gmail account. When I talked to my daughter, to her, she may think that, hey, you can always open another Gmail account. But actually, it's not that simple because the... Chrome synchronization feature was turned on. And if the hacker has my password, he or she can use another computer, open up the Chrome browser, and able to suck all my passwords onto his own PC. Besides, I use the Gmail account to do my account recovery. What that means is they have my password, they have access to my recovery mail account. They can easily set up another login and they can easily access all my accounts. The kind of password I use, actually it's not that simple. If you look at it here, two, I use two uppercase, uh, three letter lowercase, another uppercase, lowercase, upper, and at the end I, I add as a special characters. Then the questions, how did I got hacked? I will give you more details about how my account was hacked. But in this video, I want to focus on what action did I take to work against time before the hacker has a chance to break into my accounts. Basically, I click on a file and obviously that file installs something into my PC and work around the two-factor verification. And that is how I was hacked. In my next video, I will also talk about the steps I took to recover my Gmail account and also my YouTube account. And, and one of my friends asked me the question is, Hon, do you really have a two-factor verification set up? Being a YouTube content creator, I'm required by Google to set up two-factor authentication. If you look at the log, file, and also the alert email. You can see that when the hacker got into my account, the first thing they did was to turn off the two-factor verification steps. This is the alert sent to my hacked Gmail account. Of course, I never have a chance to look at it because I wasn't able to get in into the Gmail to read it at that time. They already got my account. And right after that, they changed my recovery email account to this one. The question is, why do they target my account? Because once they got into my account, they trusted the YouTube account, causing YouTube to turn off my channel immediately. Obviously, they are not after the ransomware. Since I don't make much money from my YouTube channel, probably they are trying to get into my financial and bank accounts. Of course, they have access to my Google Drive and many people put their personal information on the cloud drive. I do that too, but I put that on a Microsoft Cloud instead of this Google Drive. I'm lucky with this kind of arrangement. Another thing I'm very lucky was they hacked my account at 1.41 p.m. Uh, by 2 p.m., I noticed that something is wrong 
and then I immediately took actions. If this will happen during the night, they have a lot more time to execute what they want to do. So I immediately call my TD Ameritrade Fidelity to, to basically lock my accounts. Don't allow any money going in and out. And when I call those accounts, there were some other issues too. I will elaborate more in my next video. It would be good to have some special phone number so that you will not be put on hold for a long time. Uh, actually, there are some other phone number which you can get people to answer your call much faster. I stopped the same function on the Chrome, on the Edge, and also on the uh, Firefox. Because if I don't do that, I modify my password. They will have my updated passwords. I also changed the login ID. For some sites, they use my email passwords. For many other sites nowadays, using, uh, they, they want me to use a specific ID, which uh, provided another layer of security when logging in. The old ID was stored in the uh, password manager on the Chrome, and the hacker has access to that too. Therefore, I have to change all those. Another important thing is I have to change the verification uh, email addresses that redirected to the one I can use, I can access. There are many accounts I didn't enable the two-factor authentication. Then I tried to get in and do that. When this happened, I was in the process of changing my phone and I went into the track phone site, which is my carrier, and I noticed an alert. There were hackers trying to transfer the phone numbers out from track phone. And today, I just happened to come across an article on the web. Here it stated that there were about 6,000 customers' phone number were port out. About a year ago, I port my phone number from one carrier to the other. And I was amazed. It was so automated. It took me just one hour to move my phone number from one company to the other. Therefore, this morning, I went back into some of my accounts, removing my cell phone number as a verification option. It's mainly around using the SMS one-time passcode. Amazon.com today is using that kind of verification method. There are other apps you can install onto your cell phone that does not depend on SMS text messages. Using a special app just like VIP Access Google Authenticator and Microsoft have another apps for you to use too. This is a better choice in case someone port your phone number out, they will not be able to get into account. Now I'm looking into using the actual security key. Uh, this has a Bluetooth, so I can use it on my cell phone. And it also allows USB connectivity too. I also ordered a backup key, which is just USB. Both keys cost me totally around $60. But I, I would say it's a good investment because I spend many days trying to fix 300 some web accounts. Another thing I do is I try to put a limited amount of money in one of my bank accounts, basically trying to handle the debit cards and other expenses, writing checks, doing the online payment. This will limit my exposure. No matter what I do, there's always a possibility that someone can break in. I'm still exploring other options and I will update you if you're interested. In my next video, I will discuss how the hacker tricked me into clicking on that file. I will go through the steps, how I work with Google to recover my YouTube and Google Gmail account. I will also elaborate how the hackers target the YouTube content creator. Please give me a like if you find this information useful. I will place this PowerPoint on my website I've been teaching people how to avoid this, and yet I'm being trapped. Please tell your friends about this, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.